What's up, everybody? We are back for episode two of Old Kiwi Farm. And I think today, I fast-forwarded time a little bit off camera to get the crops a little closer. I think this is their second to last growth stage before they're ready to harvest. So those should be ready soon. But in the meantime, I wanted to go over a couple things. I did add a couple, uh, couple new mods. Nothing too crazy, but I added the, what is it, the Lizard Pallet Pack by Quiet Hitman. It's got all this stuff. You can buy single bags of stuff, seed, sugar cane, limestone, solid fertilizer, cow manure, liquid tanks. Looks like there's herbicide, liquid fertilizer, milk. That's pretty cool. Slurry, water, and diesel. And premium chicken food, which looks like it's just a wheat pallet. <clears throat> and then you can get TMR pig food. Wow, that's a really, really cheap price for pig food. Huh. And you can get oats, it looks like, and grass. Uh, wood chips. Oh, there's bales, too. Yeah, Quiet Hitman's pretty, pretty awesome. I was, I uh, watched some Farmer Cop videos, and I, he's made some custom stuff for Farmer Cop that was pretty awesome. But I think, oh yeah, I got one more thing I added in. It's a uh, combine, which we might not get it. I'm not sure. I've just been using it, and I've been really liking it. I think it's not this one. Yeah, it's this one. The Kloss. Just like the looks of it. But anyway, uh, I think while we're waiting for the crops to grow, because, yeah, they're almost ready, I think we'll bump this up to five times scale. But... I think we're gonna get some chickens because we need something else to make a little bit of cash because we don't have too much land at our disposal at the moment but yeah I think I think I'm gonna get some chickens so hop in here I think we'll just start with uh, we gotta get a count one two three four five That should be 50. Prob probably not. I probably messed that up terribly. We'll check real quick. Oh, I got it. 50 chickens. Alright, so... Oh boy, there's different stuff to give them. Uh, I was thinking it was just going to be wheat or barley, but I was wrong. So we need wheat, barley, or rye, and sunflowers, corn, or canola sugar beets, carrots, or potatoes. Um, okay, we'll just have to roll with what we got then. I know we have some wheat and barley and we are growing rye, I think. I think. Yeah, we're growing rye. Okay. What did I plant? Uh, We'll just, I think I, I think that's uh, coffee over there, if I remember correctly. So, we'll grab the trailer quick, and we'll put some food in there for them. And I'm not sure if we have any potatoes or sugar beets. Probably not, but I think that should be a lower percentage, because it's the last one listed if I... And if it's like most things, I know like pigs, for example, like sugar beets and potatoes are only like 5% effectiveness. So hopefully it's something kind of like that. And uh, I guess we'll use the barley. <clears throat> so hopefully it doesn't mess with our percentage too much. And I also probably need to add the egg pallet because I, I don't think I have that installed. But we can, we can make do for now until I install that. It's not a big deal. But these guys shouldn't take too much of this. Nope. All right. So, we'll dump the rest of this in here. And I think it was soybeans, canola, sunflowers was the other one. Soybean, or, yeah, sunflowers, corn, canola. Okay. And like I said, I don't think we have any sugar beets, potatoes, or carrots. But we can check real quick. 
So carrots we have none, and sugar beets we have none, and potatoes we have none. Okay, so we won't worry about that for now. I don't think I'm going to buy any right now. I'll probably worry about that some other time, but I guess we'll use the sun. No, we'll use the corn. Sunflowers are worth a little more to sell, so if we get in a tight spot, we can sell the sunflowers. So yeah, we we'll use the corn. And they shouldn't take much of this either. Probably the same amount as the wheat, I would think. Or the barley, sorry. Get that full. And I'll check and see if I have the lizard reusable pallet pack, but I don't think I do. But like I said, that's fine. They won't produce too much. There's only 50 in there. I don't even know how many that pen can hold. Probably 100 maybe 200. Doesn't look very big. Well, actually, I don't know. It does look kind of big, but we'll see. I think I'll probably just leave this hooked up for now because we'll need it for the harvest, so I'll just get it staged over here. Oh, and I also put coarse play in because uh, I just have a lot of trouble with the workers. And I don't know why because neither one of these fields is very uh, too too badly shapen, but yeah, we'll, uh, I might try coarse play on it, at least for the, the planting. I don't mind harvesting or fertilizing myself, it's just I'm not a huge fan of planting or seeding by myself. So let's grab the combine and get him staged over there too. And then I, I don't even really know how to use coarse play, so I, I honestly can't remember how you even get the, uh, get the screen up there but I'll have to look at the key bindings to see what that that's going to be but once we, once I find the screen to open it I should uh, I should be able to figure it out at least the basic functions of it anyway I'm not definitely not a, a pro at the course play but I think I think we'll manage uh, I really wish this thing did a little faster than 15 but that's okay, at least our fields are close for now. If we ever end up spreading out too far from our farm, we might look into making a little... Maybe not another farm with a house, because I think you can only have one, but I think we'll... <clears throat> think about maybe putting a easy shed or something over there with a tractor and a planter and whatever type of harvester we plan on doing over there. But... Yeah, we'll get this guy lined up. Yeah, and also, uh, somebody by the name of Kaz64 commented on my last video. Um, he's a modder, a map creator, it looks like, and he said that they're, uh, he's releasing an update for this map. I'm not, I don't think he's the one that made the map. I could be wrong, but, um, I actually don't remember who made the map. But yeah, he said that he's gonna be adding some new fruit, and bug fixes so I'm pretty excited for that I haven't uh, I haven't ran into any bugs that I know of but I think we're just gonna speed up time a little bit here to get to the harvesting but yeah I'm kinda he said it, it was adding a kiwi and he said other fruits so it sounds like there's multiple things that they're gonna add which sounds pretty cool so I'll have to join his Facebook page probably and see if I can find the download link because I'd really like to check that out. I'm assuming it would um, require a new game save but that's we're not too far here. I've only done one harvest I think so. Yeah, um, if that comes out relatively soon I might switch switch over and just create a new game save maybe. But. Yeah, I think, uh, let me check the growth state of this, because it looks really small, but I'm not sure if that's just how it looks, or if it's just not, if it grows slower, possibly, than other things, I'm not sure. Oh, I guess, I guess it's, looks like it's one growth state behind. So, we'll, uh, we'll see. I'll probably, probably cut here, because there's nothing really to, oh, actually, hold on, I'm going to look for the, Pallets. Pallets. 
Oh, I do. I do have them. Okay, so let's go get... Let's go grab a couple of these. I think we'll just get... Uh, I like the clear ones. I think we'll just get... Probably four for now. That That's probably, honestly, too many for 50 chickens. But, uh, do we have... Yeah, let's, let's take the truck over there. And actually, it'll probably slow that down a bit while we're moving, because I'll lose track and skip through an entire day, which I don't really need to be doing. But yeah, it's looking it's looking like the coffee might grow a little slower. Kind of similar to how uh, sugar cane would. Because I'm pretty sure I planted the coffee first. Because I think I harvested that other field first. And uh, this is actually a growth state further along, which eh, it, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's kind of nice. I'm sure different crops, I don't really know much about it, but I'm sure crops grow at different times, like... I wouldn't think that everything would take exactly 60 days or however long it takes, 90 days maybe, but yeah, let's, uh, let's try not to crash or roll this thing over on the way there, but uh, yeah, I don't know if anybody's ever used the lizard pallet pack, well, not the pallet, oh, I'm, I'm crashing already, but the uh, reusable pallet pack, but they are pretty pretty awesome. It's really a game changer for chickens. Plus there's there's ones for wool, which I know the wool spawns in pallets, but uh, I think I can lift these up. Yes. I know the wool spawns in pallets, but these pallets hold I think twice as much. Maybe a little bit more. Which is nice, because then, you know, you don't have to mess with a hundred different pallets either. You can just have four of them and they fit good in the pallet spawn point, and then you just take the four down and sell them. I usually get a fifth one too. That way, while I'm selling the other four, they're not the other base game style pallets aren't spawning in, because that's kind of annoying. Especially with the chickens, because then you got random boxes of eggs laying around, and I kind of hate dealing with the egg boxes once I have these, so let's tension strap those down. I should probably come down and pick up my junk from here too. But, we'll worry about that another time. Yeah. I think we're going to pass this guy. Hopefully there's no uh, speed traps on this map somewhere. That would not be would not be good. I would probably be poor from all my speeding tickets, but... Luckily, I've only gotten one speeding ticket in real life, and it got reduced to a parking ticket, so I got, I got lucky there, but... I kind of learned my lesson, because I didn't want to get any more of those. Alright, so the the rye is done. Let's see if the coffee's... No, it still looks green. But it probably jumped up another... Yeah, it looks like it... No, oh, maybe not. Let's look here. Uh, it might have jumped up another growth state. But, in the meantime, we can get the combine going on the other field. I should have checked the growth states before I moved this over here. Oh, okay, it's not destroying those. Alright. So they must be early still. So let's uh let's head over here. Maybe I'll try to figure out course play quick and hope that he can manage that. But yeah, I can't remember how, what the prices were for rye. Hopefully it's pretty good. I know Goldcrest Valley I, I played on for a while and rye in there was a high yield and a relatively high price, so hopefully it's similar here, because we could definitely use the money for some more land. I'm not sure where it's going to want me to start, so we'll just park there and see if we can't just find the course play menu here somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, I've probably passed it. Probably. Uh, nah, maybe not actually. Because I know auto drive and stuff's way at the bottom, so. Uh, SH. I'm not sure what that is. But. There's auto drive. I don't, we don't need auto drive at the moment. Uh, let's see. Course play should be. There it is. CP, I'm assuming, is course play. Open and close HUD. This looks like delete. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, let's see here. Um, 
Yeah, what's this? Well, drive, field now. We don't need those. Those were. I don't know what those were. I tried. Um, settings. One might see fuel. Uh, no courses loaded. Okay. Manage courses. Uh, Alright, I'm going to cut right here until I can figure this out because this is probably the most boring thing in the world to watch. So I will bring you back in if I figure this out, and if not, then I will be probably doing it all myself because I don't want to deal with the worker stopping and me not paying attention and doing something else. So let's, uh, yeah, I'll cut right here. I'll bring you back in in just a second. Alright, and I'm back. I think, I think I have figured it out. I think. Um, I'm not sure if his pipe is going to pop out or not. I did turn the always out pipe on, and it, it didn't turn on. So, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, hopefully, we have less trouble crossing that bridge than I did with the combine header. But, yeah. So, I think, I think in the meantime, probably, we will uh, check on this. And this is not, it's not close yet. Okay. So this might not even get harvested today, because it's still in the same growth state that it was before. So, uh, I'm not really sure. And then I was also thinking, I was also thinking about getting getting sheep, maybe. Um, oh, these don't need to be over here. Yeah, I was thinking about getting sheep, but I don't have any grass, and I don't think I have a mower. I don't think so. And I don't really have much grass to mow, and I don't really want to plant one of my fields in grass, so I think, and if the chickens are different, the sheep are probably different too, so that would be bad if I needed hay and silage. I think even in season, some of them take silage, but hopefully that's not a thing on here. I don't know. Maybe I'll check into that a little bit off camera. Yeah, so these guys, you just, you just set these in here, and they, four of them fit pretty good. So, we'll, uh, I don't know if they actually have to be perfect, but I try to keep them in between the lines like that. I don't think, I think as long as most of it's in the box, it's probably fine, but, you know, I just kind of like them lined up too, so. Uh, also, I hope they don't need water. I don't think so, but, oh, wait a minute. The eggs thing's over here. Okay, I'm stupid. That's where you put, that's where you buy the chickens. Oh, this thing's huge. I wonder if this, you can fit more of these in here. <clears throat> anyway, we will transfer these over here. That would have really drove me nuts if that was if that was uh, gonna fill up with eggs, and I had them in the wrong spot. I'm glad I happened to look over there. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll, we'll get this this put down there, and I might be able to throw this. In. Oh, did it? It did work. Okay. And I think with Glo I think it's Global Company that uh, gives you this, but you can see the fill type and the percentage that it's full. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty pretty sure that's Global Company that does that. But that's a really nice, really nice thing to have, especially like with uh, with these tank, you know, the tanks that kind of look like this with fertilizer or herbicide. It's really nice to be able to walk up. Oh, what am I stuck on? It's nice to be able to walk up the one and see um, see how much is in the tank. So if you're trying to use up a partial tank first, you can do that. But yeah, I don't think I have a mower. Yeah, I don't have a mower. So maybe we'll maybe we'll do that in the future. I'm not sure. Um, I also don't know if Course Play is going to tell me when he's full or not. But he's almost full. So we'll grab the grab the tractor. Bring him over there. Probably gonna fill up this trailer. Rise probably pretty high yield if I had to guess, because I don't think he's made one, or I don't think he's completed one headland pass yet. So might get quite a few, quite a few trailers. And I think it holds seven thousand liters. If I remember correctly. What are you doing here? I have no idea what he's. Oh, what he's planning on doing here. I also, I did turn off crop destruction because I had to drive in the field to start it and I didn't want to ruin my crops, so. 
Let's see if he sees the course. Oh, yeah, he stopped on that one. I'm not sure what that's all about, but we'll see. If that's all he's going to miss, I don't. I just don't understand this, but I don't know. If that's all he's going to miss, I'm okay with it, but as long as he doesn't stop, that's what I'm worried about with the, the worker kept kept stopping and it was driving me insane because I was doing other stuff trying to fertilize or something and the combine just stopped and I didn't realize it for a long time alright so that is not quite 7,000 liters but are you gonna start again? okay oh what the heck what the heck why did you do that? I wonder if he did that to give me room to dump. I don't know if they would have programmed it that way or not, but that's the only thing I could think of why he would have done that little little thing there. It's kind of annoying if, if we were going to pick up the straw. I should have turned that off because I don't have a, a way to get that, but oh well. We'll uh, worry about that later. Oh, that time scale's back at 1. Yeah, I, I forgot. I was, uh, when I was off camera there messing with overdrive, or uh, course play, not overdrive. It's not even a thing. When I was messing with course play, I, I actually went all the way through the day, so I I had uh, set the time back a little bit because I didn't want to waste the day, but I should have just kept on going because then I would have at least had the coffee ready, but we'll worry about that later. Let's see how he manages this turn here. Looks like his course kind of, oops, trees are in the way. Looks like he, you see, he's supposed to follow these lines here. Let's see how he works this. But this is a pretty weird looking field actually. I forgot how how weird this was. But come on guy, where are you going? You going to get that little bit there? And you're gonna miss most of it anyway. Alright. Yeah, I think I think he's probably gonna do okay. We're just gonna let him go. Uh, I'm not really sure what else there is to do in the meantime. It kinda sucks that the coffee's not ready. But Let's, uh, let's see what the productivity is without that other feed type. Oh, it's 10%. Okay, so that's not too bad. I think we can we can live with that. Let's see. Let's actually go in the store real quick and see if we can see our animal pen. I don't know if it's got... It's probably this one. Oh, oh those 500 chickens. All right, and our cow pasture holds 500 cows. There's no chance that I'm going to do 500 cows, but we will probably end up doing cows. So I think cows, for the most part, are probably my favorite animal to to do. The chickens are easy, but honestly, you make too much money off of them when you have like 500, because you, know, you get like four full boxes or pallets of eggs a day, and that's just too much money per day. If it was like four, if it was maybe one pallet a day, that I think that'd be a little better, but. Yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll let him go for a while, and I'll probably, probably come back in. Honestly, probably when he's done with this field, because I don't think there's going to be anything too interesting. Um... Well, actually, I'll, I'll bring you back in once we get a full trailer, and we'll take it down and sell it. I think for now, yeah, I'm just going to let him go, and uh, I'll bring you back in in a little bit when he gets when he gets a little further along. All right, welcome back. Um, we got a full trailer ride, so I think we're going to... Combine's actually doing pretty good. The whole course said, like, 20 minutes, so that's, that's not as bad as I thought with how awkward this field is. But anyway, let's look at the prices for rye. Man, I looked a second ago, it was Havelock North Mill 1 or Luca's All You Got are the best ones. So I think whichever one's closer we'll probably go to because I'm not sure where either one of those is. Let's see, so that's the farm market, that's the warehouse, BGA over there. There's the Havelock North Mill. And Luke is all you got. So it looks like, yeah, this is definitely closer. So we'll, uh, we'll tag that guy, even though I'm pretty sure I know where it is. But 
Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll head over there quick and sell this and see what we got. Uh, we're not going to get as much as I thought off of here. But it's not too big of a field, I guess, so that, that kind of makes sense. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's take this over and sell it. And I think um, I might plant rice over there or mustard. I think rice and mustard are the two... <coughs> excuse me, that I'm going to plant next. I'm pretty sure we can harvest rice with our combine. So where is this? Oh, it's over here. Duh, the big green thing in the sky. Um, the entrance. Oh, God. Oh, that was close. All right. A little bit of lag there. All right, so this, this is an easy one to get to. I know some of these are pretty... I don't know about this map, but I've, I've played on some other maps where some of the cell points were almost impossible to get to. Alright, let's... I have no idea what we're going to get for this. Maybe 18,000. That'd be nice. This trailer does not dump very fast at all. I'm sure the combine's probably going to be full by the time we get back there. But, looks like we're, money's going up pretty slow. We'll see here. I don't even remember what we had when we started this. Oh, 18,000. I was pretty close. 18,226. Alright, so let's go back over there and uh, see if maybe the combine is full. It looks like the sawmill over there. I'm not sure what we'd uh, use that for unless we decided to plant some trees. I don't think there's much uh, in, the, in the way of forestry on here, which I guess is okay. So I'm not huge into forestry, but it is it is kind of fun doing it every once in a while. Recently, I was playing on Wilhelmina Forest, and it was it was a lot of forestry in Wilhelmina Forest, which I guess it's kind of right in the name. So yeah, oh, he is almost done. All right, and this guy I noticed. Uh, Usually when the combine's full, they stop, and their their pipe just stays out until until you uh, completely empty them. But this guy, when his pipe's full and you start emptying him, he just he just starts going kind of like a forage harvester would, which I guess is kind of nice because you don't have that downtime. But it's like, see, you know, sometimes he stops like this. I don't know. I think I'm in his way because last time I did this, it popped up and said that he slowed down for traffic. So. Yeah, we'll let him finish dumping and I think we gotta go I drove the planter over to the store because I gotta get some seeds and some fertilizer so we'll, we'll uh, fill that up while he's finishing off this but she's almost done and he definitely won't fill up again so and yeah, we'll get out of his way Actually, we might still be in his way. But, yeah. Alright. So, I think we're going to do the lizard pallet pack ones, because those look pretty pretty nifty. So, we'll get the seed one. And, uh, I don't think the wrap really matters. So, we'll just go no wrap. And there's standard, and there's bulk. And I think, oh, we don't want to. I think, yeah, we might as well just get the bulk. That's a really good price for seeds, by the way. So yeah, we'll pick that up, and what else do we need? Fertilizer, solid fertilizer, here we go. We'll do, yeah, we'll get the bulk on that guy too. That's also a really good price for liquid, or uh, sorry, solid fertilizer. Yeah, we'll get one of those too. Alright, so we'll fill this guy up. That's, that is a lot of seeds, that is awesome. I'm almost wondering if you could take those pallets, like split them. Probably not. But that's okay. I don't see any need to split them. It'd be nice for stacking if they were uh, combined like that. So we'll head over here and pick up some fertilizer in this, and then we'll probably have to switch tractors because I don't think this tractor has enough horsepower to pull this. So he's got 125. Yeah, that doesn't sound like enough. Where is it? Where is it? 180. Yeah, so we'll have to use the John Deere for that, which not a big deal. I'm not sure if there's an engine upgrade on this or not, but I don't... I don't think we really need it right now. The John Deere's got plenty of power for what we want to do. Yeah, let's uh, get out of here without causing too many car accidents. 
And then, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna check and see if we can harvest rice. And then we'll probably plant rice and mustard. Because I want to do everything, uh, especially these newer ones first. Like, ones that I, have, I don't have any experience with. I've done rye before on Goldcrest Valley. But yeah, we'll definitely do two new ones here. New to me, anyway. We'll do rice, and then what else do we got? Uh, can't do carrots. That's not a huge deal. I uh, can't do onions. We can do millet, I think. And I don't know how well this is going to do with these massive straw piles. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, we have coffee planted on our other field. So there's mustard and sorghum. And rye and rice. So let me s check the header quick. I think it'll be the same for all these. But let's go over to ours just to be extra sure. I passed it. Yep, it does the normal stuff, and then millet, coffee, mustard, sorghum, rye, and rice. So we'll do we'll do mustard on one of these fields and rice on the other. So this is already set for rice, so we'll just do that. And then I think we can I can try to show you how terrible I am at course play because I think I got it figured out. Where is my mouse? There it is. All right, it's just easier. I don't I don't think you can do this with the controller. So let's go, where did I find that, uh, again, here, yeah, gen course generation, alright, so you just gotta find the number of the field, and we are in 52, and we want headlands around, yep, and we'll, we did 10 for this field, but I think that was too many, so we'll do 5, and set for clockwise, that's fine, headland overlap, that's probably fine, not sure why you'd skip rows, uh, six meters, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oops. Uh, uh, we'll just do current vehicle position for that. Starting direction, automatic. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's it. So we'll hit generate, and that should. Yep, there it goes. There it is. Alright, oh, and we're right here. Perfect. Perfect. We'll get this lined up. Try to get dead center on it. That's probably good. Alright, I think we can we can just go ahead and start this. I think, because I'm not waiting for the the coffee. We'll just we'll just get that next round, I think next harvest, like whenever the rice happens to be ready, I think we'll worry about that. So yeah, let's uh, start course at nearest waypoint, first waypoint, there we go, auto drive, don't use, yep, see if that works, probably won't, probably be a complete failure. I'm hoping he fertilizes too, and it looks like yes. Yes, he is fertilizing. Okay, so let's get rid of this menu so we can look again. And yep, he's done. Perfect. That was pretty. That went pretty well. He only missed a little bit over there, and I'm honestly not even gonna worry about it. So let's get the John Deere over here and probably take this back down to the cell point that we were just at. Ooh, yeah, I'm not sure how the planter's gonna do with all this straw. I, t I did turn it off, and it turned itself right back on. There's probably a setting somewhere that I I don't understand how to use, but that is that is perfectly fine. So our planter is chugging away. Let's actually go back over to him and check and see how long he's got here. 16 minutes, it says. That's not too bad. Definitely not too bad. He's probably going to miss that little corner, but I, I don't really care. We can come back for that later. But anyway, let's go get the combine put away, I think. Uh, maybe. I think we have to turn him off. Stop, yeah, stop driver. There we go. Alright, we'll get him out of the way now. Yeah, yeah, he missed that little, little, like, three pieces right there, but I'm not, I'm not worried about it. <coughs> 
probably wouldn't even be worth my time picking it up just to drive the trailer back over here. But, yeah. I think we'll might as well park this guy, I think, like I said, back in the barn, because that won't be ready until tomorrow by the looks of things. Unless that's one of the bugs that uh, Kaz64 was talking about. I'm not sure. I've never... I don't have any experience with planting coffee. In-game or in real life. I don't have any experience with planting coffee. So, we'll uh, drive this guy down, make... Well, we got 8,000 liters. I think the price was 700, so maybe... Maybe 5 grand we'll get from this. Yeah, I think the chickens... The chickens will definitely help slowly getting us some money. Which we need, because we are... We are gaining pretty slow without land. I'm, I'm holding strong, and I'm not taking out a loan. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I might later, but I think at least starting out, I'd like to try, try not to, because I don't, I don't need to get super big, super fast here. Because I mean, in real life, you know, you might be able to take out a loan, but you're not gonna go buying hundreds of acres of land or anything right off the bat, I don't think. So, yeah, like I said, I'm thinking maybe five grand for this. That'd be nice. Anyway, that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, six grand. That's better than I thought. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. Mm, I think we'll drag this back over to the farm and probably park it. We could... I suppose we could stage it, but... I'll, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, did I use this? I use this tractor for this. this. I guess he's not doing too bad. He's doing nine. I didn't think it would do that good, honestly. But I didn't even remember to switch it. I guess we'll just let him go then. It's it's too late, I think. He is hitting nine. I'm not sure what the working speed is for that. I think it's eleven. No, it is nine. Okay, so yeah, he's doing fine. We'll just let him go then. Well, uh, so I guess we'll grab the herbicide sprayer and just hook it up on this as I parked right in the road. Yeah, it's alright, nobody was behind me. Yeah, I think we might as well just throw the trailer by the by the coffee field because that'll be the next thing we harvest. We'll start with the coffee because I'm excited to see what that's going to look like when it's fully grown. I suppose that doesn't mean I have to start with it, but anyway, we'll start with it. Well, uh, that might honestly not be in this episode because it's just taken a while. And although I don't know, I might, I might. We'll see. Well, it all depends on what we're at for time. Yeah, I'll drag this over there, and then I we'll have to use the front loader to clean the chickens. By the way, I forgot to mention that. Looks like yeah, they're fine for now. I'm not sure when the cleanliness actually drops the productivity. I think it when it, I think it's when it hits zero. Because I've had them pretty dirty before and they seem fine. Oh, this did go up a growth state. Well, maybe we will do it. At least start it anyway. Yeah, we'll just leave the trail over here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use course play. Um from here on out maybe because it, it's it's honestly it's a lifesaver on these maps I, I'm used to playing on big square fields that I make myself like no man's land and even on Wilhelmina all my fields are square so yeah I think I'll just uh, probably just keep using course play because then it, it frees me up to do other stuff if I need to as well which is kind of cool I'll check but I don't I don't think they need lime or anything because I just did that yeah, oh, they need to be plowed, though. I forgot about the plow state. Darn it. Um, well, he's already he's already going, so I, I, I'm definitely not stopping him. We'll, we'll have to worry about that. I guess we'll fill this up with herbicide, because I think we'll probably use all this. Yeah, okay, I'll just drive this over to the store real quick. I don't know why I drop frames like that every once in a while. It, see, normally it runs at 60 all the time. 
every once in a while it just it glitches. It's like it renders a new part of the map or, or a different part of the map or something and it does not like it. But my computer's not the best. It's a MSI laptop. It's it's pretty good. Um just playing, but when I have OBS going too, it really struggles. I hopefully you can't hear the fan. I haven't heard it. But hopefully you can't hear that because it's really, really working as hard as it possibly can. I am looking to upgrade soon. Uh, probably after we get into our new house, I think. I don't know if any of you guys ever bought a house. That is the most stressful thing in the world, I think. Um, so many phone calls and whatnot you gotta make, but yeah, I was looking at computers. I've been looking. Well, I've been looking at them for a while, but ooh, we're gonna make it. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna upgrade. Probably, probably pretty soon. Get something. Get a desktop because I'm I'm playing on a laptop right now because that's my uh, apartment I had was pretty small and I didn't have room for a big desk and desktop. So. Yeah, it will be nice when I uh, can get something a little better to play on. A little more computing power, I guess you could say. See, I think for right now, uh, we're just going to let him let him chug away, and I'll probably bring you back in when we're ready to herbicide. And boom, he is done. All right, let's, uh, let's stop him and get rid of that. Actually, let's get rid of these, these darn... Waypoints, there we go. Alright, so I think we're going to go around and probably get these little pieces that he missed. Uh, not too bad. Not bad at all, actually. I have definitely seen ordinary workers do much worse, and our ordinary worker was doing absolutely terrible when he did this. So, uh, yeah, let's turn him on. Get these little spots here. Um, I'm going to try to see if the the course play guy will will herbicide. I know you can't hire a worker in this state because there's no weeds on it. So I'm gonna try uh, I'm gonna try anyway with course play because I think maybe he will our worker. I also gotta figure out how to get how to turn it on so they start charging us because I don't think they charged any money. And uh, that's kinda unrealistic and I'd like it if it charged us money kinda like a normal worker would. Let's go ahead and get these pieces here. And it doesn't do great with these real sharp corners, but that's that's not a huge deal. It saves me a lot of time and effort using it. And it's kind of cool to learn new stuff, because that's, that's something that I've heard about for a long time, and I've just never really paid attention to videos of people doing it or tried to learn it. So it is nice learning something. Now we get these little spots, too. It is nice learning something new. And I know I'm by no means an expert at it, but I think I, I think I got it figured out enough to where I can get it to work for me. At least for doing stuff like this. I know you can get it to dump the stuff, you can get it to sell the stuff, you can get it working with auto drive, which I don't, I can't even work auto drive by itself, so I don't think I'm even gonna ever try. <laughs> well, maybe someday, but I don't think for right now I'm gonna try to use auto drive with it. I don't even know what that would do for you. But I have seen people you know, use auto drive to dump trailers and take stuff down, which, I mean, it's, it looks really cool, I just, I'm not really sure how you'd go about getting that to work, but, yeah, so let's get this guy, and I think I decided we're gonna, we're gonna probably wrap it up here pretty soon, um, cause it's, it, I, the last episode I did was like 50 minutes and I, 55 or something like that, and I think that's a little too long, so we're gonna probably knock that down a little bit. See if I can back this in here without ramming everything. Oh, oh, all right, good enough. And then uh, we'll uh, we'll just park park this guy over here. We're gonna need to clean up the chickens probably. So let's bring up the auto drive. Or uh, I keep saying auto drive. Course play again. No, how did I do that? No, no. This is gonna be a struggle every time. This one. Here we go. Course generation. 
And we'll do field 52 again. Current, yeah, headlands. We'll just, we'll do two, I think, because we, I think we'd, even five might have been too many. We'll do three. Uh, clockwise, sure. Smooth corners, headland overlap. Yeah, we'll do, we'll keep it at that. Actually, we might go up a little bit more. Because I'd prefer it to not miss any with this. Uh, 24 meter width, I think. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll generate that and see what that looks like. That looks, looks like it's going to be pretty fast. So let's go back here and real quick check the width of our sprayer. Okay, it is 24 meters. I, I don't know why I was thinking it was 28, but... Alright, where is he? First waypoint. Let's bring up the... Let's bring up this. Oh, that's funky looking. Um, let's get rid of that for one second. Where is the start point here? That's the stop over there. Where is the start? Okay. I probably, yeah, I think I drove past it. It's probably over there. Because this is all a solid line. Yeah, it's, oh, it was actually right in front of me. Alright, well, you know, you live, you learn, I guess. Alright, so let's pull that menu back up and start, see if it'll actually work. I'm not positive that it will. We'll start at the first waypoint, hit drive course. Oh, look at that, it is working. That's, that's yet another game changer by course play here. That is, that is awesome. Let's see. Oh yeah, four minutes. Okay, you know what? We'll just uh, we'll just tab over here. I guess it wouldn't be tab; it'd be over on my controller. But you know, I think you get what I'm saying. Let's uh, let's clean up the chickens, even though they're not really dirty. I just like to do it once a day to kind of keep up on it. That way, I don't forget, and they have zero productivity for a while, and I get no eggs, and I get very sad. Let's uh, I suck running these things, but. Let's get that, like that, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Wow, 32 whole liters of wheat. I could have swore I put barley in there, but I think it always does that, actually. Like, you can put whatever in there, it just ends up giving you the first one that's listed for that category. Yeah, we'll get that in there. I think we'll probably just ditch the front loader and hook up the fertilizer. Probably need to go get fertilizer, too. <clears throat> yeah, we'll uh, dump this guy off here and not detach the bucket instead of the whole unit. There we go. Alright. Uh, we might need the weight. We'll just we'll grab the weight just to be safe, I think. Because with my luck, I would need the weight and I wouldn't have the weight, and then I'd have to come all the way back here to get the weight. So... We'll just we'll just not worry about that right off the bat and get the weight. How much fertilizer is in here? Uh, there's probably not enough. All right. Well, uh, we have that fertilizer at the store, so we'll just run over to the store quick while he's probably still going. He's probably almost done, honestly. But that is that is awesome that you can hire a worker to herbicide right after you plant. Well, not hire a worker, but you can get the course play to do it for you. Because I don't, normally, I think I tried it last episode, you can't. He won't actually do it unless there's weeds. Which is annoying, because they never, well, at least for me, they never pop up right away. And they never pop up all at the same time, like little patches pop up. and that, I know it's realistic, but it just drives me nuts. I just wish they'd all pop up right away. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure we still have a bunch of fertilizer left from that pallet, because I got the, the bulk double pallet. Yeah. And, I mean, we want to fill this up anyway, so. Just drive in here. I think it's the... This one? Yeah, it's this one. I love that, that you can get so much in one. There. That's a nice thing. Eventually, I'm going to come down here with the truck and... Uh, thing and drag all this junk home. I'll probably stock up, but I need to get some more money first. I've kind of just been buying what I needed for now, because I didn't want to waste all of our money here. 
I'm hoping the chickens start producing a little bit. Not not too much. I might buy more, honestly. Uh, I probably should have kept some of that rye to feed them, but that's all right. We got barley and wheat in the silo, so we'll uh, we'll just run that for now. They don't really eat that much, so we'll just use what we got for now. And I keep forgetting that they take soy and uh, what are the other ones? I forget. But, oh, he actually is still going. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, I've just been starting up at this corner. I'm not I'm not sure where it starts, if it just starts at where your vehicle's closest or not, but we'll uh, start up in this corner as well. And I think once we get him going, uh, that'll probably be about it. Because I don't really have anything else to do until tomorrow, and I, we won't have time to put in a whole other day, so... Let's see how he's doing. You know, he's got 53, 50 seconds left. Let's see how he's, see what he's got left. Is it just that piece there? Oh. I know he missed a little bit over there. It's getting pretty dark too. Hopefully we can get this done. I, I did turn the time scale down to, down to one because it was getting pretty late. But I didn't want to go into another day because then the coffee would have been ready and I would have been too excited not to harvest that. So. Yeah, this guy's almost done. We'll uh, get ready to stop him here. Oh, I'm not, I don't know why that doesn't work like that. So I gotta delete, and then there we go. Now it should work. And he doesn't automatically stop, he just kind of sits there idle, so we gotta stop driver. There we go. And we'll get him off the field. And we shall turn the waypoints off for this, because that's kind of annoying when you're not actually doing anything with it. We'll just get him off the field for now, and then start the fertilizer, and probably, probably then we'll drive this back to the farm and end over there. Sorry, let's try this again. I'm going to be a professional at this pretty soon. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, okay, so here, course generation, field 52, five headland passes, now we'll... We'll get out of there. We'll do two. We'll try two this time and see how that works. Headland around. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be way wrong. So I'm pretty sure our uh, our guy here is 20 meters, if I remember correctly. Probably not correctly, but sorry about the crazy amount of clicking. Hopefully you can't hear that too loud. And it put it back to 12. Uh, all right, maybe I shouldn't have hit that. 10,000 more clicks, and then maybe once we'll get to 20, it'll be wrong, and I'll have to do another 20,000 clicks. All right, my finger's broken, but we're at 20. That probably just reset. I don't, I don't know why I even bothered doing that right yet. Let's go over here, and we have this guy. He had his 20 meters. Okay, so let's go back to that and it probably changed. No, nope, it saved it. Sweet. So, I think this stuff's all... Yeah, we'll just leave that at smooth. We'll do... Overlap. Well, yeah, we'll just leave that at 7. Right, so we'll generate that. Back. Uh, first waypoint. Where is the waypoint, by the way? Do I need to turn this on to see? Okay, that's the start one. Alright, well, that's a weird place to start, but... You know what, they're doing good, so I'm not going to judge them. Uh, first waypoint, yep, drive course. Probably should check and see if that's actually fertilizing. It looks like it is, but i got to remember to plow next time. I'm just wasting yield here. Yeah, it looks like he's whoops. Looks like he's fertilizing. Yeah, he is. Okay, so let's take the take this guy back over and park him. And I think we'll probably end it there. Yeah, I think I know there was a break in between episodes, but I'd like to try and do one every other day, maybe every two days. 
it all kind of depends on work and how crazy busy it is. I know right now we're back on Saturdays, and we were kind of promised a while ago we weren't going to be on Saturdays, so that that really blows because then I only get Sunday off, and there's a lot of a lot of stuff to be done on that one day off. So uh, yeah, we'll park this over here. Yeah, anyways, uh, I appreciate anybody who's watching. Thank you for taking the time to watch. And this has been Dave from D&J Farming.